Like the journey's within. And if you don't do that, then what the hell are you doing? <laughs> like, what is the point? Hey, it's Sana. So I have wanted to do these videos for so long. Like, I don't even know how long, probably a year. And if you look back in my channel, I have tried so many times, but when I watch those videos back, like, I don't normally even watch them because it just made me cringe so much. But when I last watched them back, which was literally like a week ago, I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's just, I can just feel how uncomfortable I was in my own skin. Like, I can feel it. And it just makes me cringe every time I watch them. So I want to start this again and actually do it. Like, I know I needed to film those. It was necessary I had to film them because it led me to getting comfortable on camera and like if you look at anybody who films videos or even on TV when you watch them in the first series you can tell that they're a little bit uncomfortable and they're like trying to maneuver how to get comfortable so I know I needed to film them because it helped me get comfortable but I don't want it to be like that no more. Like, I don't want it to be the trial and error anymore. Like, we need to get this shit perfect, okay? So, we're trying again. And that is what this is. And honestly, I've been wanting to talk about these kind of things and do these videos for so long. But I swear it would just be fear. Even when I was doing it before, I would always have to talk myself into doing it because I would get really nervous. And then, like, I either wouldn't get the point across or, you know what I mean? Like, it would just be so much fear and I was really uncomfortable in my own skin. So then the videos were just very weird. <laughs> they felt formal to me. Like, it didn't feel like you could see who I was. And that kind of, I mean... Nobody wants to sit through a video when you can't really feel the person. So it doesn't even matter what they're talking about. Like I literally could have been talking about fucking toaster and you'd have just been like, <laughs> you'd have had the same vibe, even though I was talking about real shit and like important topics. It was just a dead conversation. <laughs> like I wouldn't have wanted to talk to me like that. So yeah, we're doing this again and I'm really excited and actually pretty terrified so I'm just gonna keep it real with you I want these to be real honest videos I mean they're called mind cleared for a reason like I'm just kind of clearing my mind and talking about different things that we go through and for a long time I was battling with whether it was normal for me to talk about this stuff like as a, an artist that makes music you don't really see many artists doing this kind of thing especially on YouTube but like fuck it you know fuck it we're not trying to be like everybody else and also I realize that these topics are so important like it's more important than even making music like if my message behind my songs wasn't about these kind of deep topics and like real shit then what would be the point in making music you know like I don't want to be out here making music about pointless things that don't matter and I don't even want to make YouTube videos about pointless things that don't matter and that's just because of me that's just because I mean I'm a Pisces <laughs> I hate small talk like I can't deal with it I'll do it if I have to but for the most part like let's just jump straight into the deep end I don't want to talk about pointless shit that doesn't matter <laughs> You know, I don't even watch TV, really. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like this is just, it's just who I am, you know? And I keep looking over there because I'm really nervous. But it's just who I am, and I have to just be who I am. I can't, I can't, like, not do it anymore. I can't hold back anymore. I can't not say what I want to say. Like, it just is what it is. So, here we are, facing huge fears, and... Like, the topics are deep. I already talk about this kind of stuff in a podcast, which I'm filming after this. Um, so, I already am comfortable talking about these things on camera. But, I don't know, I feel like when it's put on my channel, like on my YouTube channel, instead of the Validate Me podcast channel, and it's just my perspective. Like, it's not conversation between two friends. It's just me talking to you. So, I know that makes me a little bit more nervous. But these conversations are so necessary and I have to keep reminding myself of that, like, 
when you scrap everything else that's in this life, what are you left with? You're left with yourself. Like, you're left with who you are. You're left with how you feel. You're left with how you think. You know? Like, the house doesn't matter. Although we need a house, the type of house does not matter. The type of outfit that I'm wearing, I'm literally wearing my Zana Collection hoodie, which is coming soon. But, like, it doesn't matter what you wear, you know? It doesn't matter... It just none of the material shit matters and it took me a long time to realize that because I would always feel really like insignificant and like unworthy because I didn't have the designer things or because I didn't you know what I mean like it just we put so much validation and so much everything like our worth into these external things and I'm realizing that it's so important to talk about these things. Like, that is the purpose of this life, so why am I fearing the whole point of this experience, which is to remember who the fuck we are, like, beyond this experience. That is the purpose of this journey, is to learn about ourselves, otherwise why else would we be here? You can't expand, you can't grow, you can't do anything if you don't, like, the journey's within, and if you don't do that, then what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Like, what is the point of your life if you're not learning about yourself? Because when you uncover about yourself, then you can create an even better life. You know, the experience just transforms. So, yeah, I realise how important it is and that I'm fearing something for no reason. The fear's not even real because this is necessary and this is what I want to do. This is, like, what I've been drawn to do so many times I've been drawn to it for at least a year of like actually filming these videos but I would talk about this stuff all the time I don't know it's just weird <laughs> I feel like life is weird maybe I'm just weird but like I need to just do it so that's what we're doing and I realize that things come back around in cycles so like I'll feel the urge to do something and then I won't do it or I'll try it and then I'll stop and then it always comes back round because I might be like no I don't need to do that anymore like I've tried it it wasn't amazing let me just leave it there but then the idea will come back up again and I'm like why the fuck do I keep getting called to do this I don't understand and then I realized it's because I actually was fearing and that's why I stopped I stopped because of fear and not because I actually wanted to stop you know and I feel like we do that a lot we stop lots of things because of fear but you're always called back to do it. Like if it's a part of your purpose, you can't avoid it. It's going to keep on calling you. You're going to keep on feeling the desire to do it. But then that voice that tells you that you're not worthy, that you're not good enough, that you're not as perfect as these other people because they have better equipment or like, you know what I mean? There's so many excuses that we tell ourselves as to why we shouldn't do something or why we're not good enough to do something. And it's not real. It really isn't real. Like, and it's taken me a long time to realise that. And it sounds really, like, simple when you say that it's not real. But I mean it's not real for you. Like, it's not yours. It's not something that's true to you. Otherwise, you wouldn't want to do the thing that you want to do. Like, you wouldn't want to be yourself otherwise. So the fear of being yourself, the fear of doing anything that you love, is literally the voice of society and of, like, the conditioning that we've had programmed into us that tells us that we can't do certain things or that certain things aren't cool or you know what I mean I feel like I say you know what I mean so many times <laughs> but I'm learning about myself okay <laughs> so forgive me god but anyway so yes I just realized that it comes in cycles and so here we are again attempting to do it but this time we're actually going to stick with it because I've realized that how you talk to yourself is the key and I'm not gonna listen to the fear voice anymore. Like this year, my goal is to be consistent with YouTube. And I kept thinking like, what kind of content do I wanna put out there? But this is like powerful, it's the purpose. So this whole video is kind of the introduction, but it's also to say that whatever you feel like you need to do, you should do it. And like, sometimes it takes, the cycle, like, it takes you coming back to it a few times before you really do go forward. And that's okay, you know? Like, it's not a failure just because you've stopped and started, you know? It's just, it's all a part of the progress. It's all of a part of, 
I can't even speak. It's all a part of the path to get you into the position where you can then do it consistently. You know, like you have to try certain things and change and adjust and shape how you want it to then get to like the final thing of how you want to do it. So that's what we're doing. And I'm really actually excited, even though I'm terrified, but I'm very excited because, you know, this is what I'm here for. This is what I'm meant to do is talk about life and just, I mean, I'm here to learn it for myself, but then when you learn it, the natural thing is to then share it. And I feel like that helps you stay on your path too, is having other people around you that are also trying to better themselves and trying to learn and trying to grow, you know, like you need that. So the more people that put themselves out online, doing those sort of things, the more people that may not have somebody like that in their physical reality, and then we can still connect online. So yeah, definitely leave me any comments down below if there's any topics that you want me to talk about, anything that you're going through, and I'm gonna make weekly videos. <laughs> I didn't even know what I was gonna say then. I was gonna say tons of videos, and then I thought, no, we're gonna say weekly because we're setting this out there. Like in the universe, this is what we're doing weekly videos okay <laughs> so yes i'm excited and this is going to be good but we're just maneuvering through the fear you know this is trial and error we're learning as we go as everybody is and you have to start somewhere so that is what i'm having to do is start somewhere where i'm at so yes that is it for this video and i will see you in the next one bye I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around I need a 